Next game will be Coco vs. Player of Many Kingdom on Discord. Coco and Pura, are you guys up? Are you guys ready? This is gonna be an interesting fight. Coco vs. Pura, Coco, very prominent for the Whirlwind Dark Linko frontline. It's a team that I actually asked Gia about if he had any ideas on how to beat, and he said, um, and I quote, Yeah, that team looks very annoying. <laughs> Alright, first players are ready. Both players are ready. Both Both players are ready? Alright, alright. Let me adjust the... Give me one moment to adjust. Oh, I just saw... I just saw uh, Ron actually modding the chat. Of course. <laughs> I'm like that ninja mod right now. Wrong is indeed the ninja mod. I will agree on that. <clears throat> oh, I do have Poirot on my friends list, so is am I going to be bugged out again? I it looks like <sighs> no. Even if he shows offline, just just request. They can still receive it. It's request, all right. I'll invite Coco first, just to be sure. If they show it, like they are online, it's still requested. Offline, just still requested. Is this something you learned while. Um... Oh, he did show him online. <laughs> Maybe I just needed to refresh. You know, sometimes just turn it off and on, bit of IT support. <laughs> right there. Wait, free, free for bands or no bands? Ah, uh, yeah, that is right. Will we be playing with bands or no bands? Ah, uh, yeah, this is my ult that's level 1. Um, fortunately, I can't play with it. I can't. I can't use it to spectate and check all the little things. So I had to rely on Yum here. <laughs> Typing out the best name. <laughs> uh, Non-family friendly name. All right, will we be playing with bands or no bands? So that is the question. And we will be playing with bands. We will be playing with bands. All right. So we will be playing with standard band rules. See here, ban. Do we give them two ban blocks because of um, duels? Yeah, we do, right? Yeah, because it's not gonna. It's a mono, mono and duel. It's not rainbow. Yeah, yeah. All right. I hope you check. both are prepared because we are starting. Sorry, let me check with them to see to see if they have uh, ban replacement stoned. I'm usually, <laughs> usually we we'll do. Quietly first, and then give them a bit of time to get ready if they need to stone bands or replacement or not. I'm sure it will be fine. Alright, all right. Both, both are ready. Both are ready. Let's go. Alright, here we have Coco displaying a bunch of whirlwind dark pieces, but he doesn't actually use any of these except for Corel. Um, yep. Yeah. Coco goes straight into um, his standard team. Absolutely disgust. Absolutely degenerate. <laughs> you can see that he actually. <laughs> He actually changed up his midline a bit. 600 seconds, I have no idea where that came from. Um, if but you he... Two you get 600 seconds instead of 60. I'm, like, sure, I'm sure that's a bug, but... Yes. Anyways, um, we can see here that Coco definitely changed up his mid. He went away from the weaker, more tempo control Lilith Serestia for Anthea and Ash, just more power um, to line break. Mm -hmm. Whereas Hora, going for... Pretty much a normal team, um, normal Smart. mono light team. He has um, all of the normal players. He has the Wrath, Goalie, the Scorn as his anti front lock, Duke and Duke and Beth, and then the hero because of the mono, um, the dark goalkeeper. And on Coco's side, he ban blocks Molina and Kieran, probably the two best ban block options considering what um, his sub support is. Mm -hmm. um, he Corn build is actually pretty interesting. He runs Sun Sob on the. I'm not, I'm not sure about Sob um, Sub, but I think Sun Main is definitely a viable option. Um, in addition, yeah, I don't. Sun Sob is just a stone from an from a relic. It's just a relic stone. So oh, actually, leaving the scorn open, I would expect it to be banned right away. I think he wants to Duke. 
um, up because Duke is probably the tankiest mid laner that he has. Mm -hmm. But it'll be interesting to see how each side will ban, considering Coco's win condition is just being able to lock um, the Wrath, which yeah. shouldn't be too hard. I'll be I'll be frank. It won't. It shouldn't be too hard, especially because the squad is open. Whereas Coco's win condition is being able to kill. So Coco but does one ban all shot. Yeah. Yeah. Bans Angelic and Scorn. Just, you know, standard. What's interesting is that Coco's um, Molina is on the side, so she won't be able to intercept the the, the sock, the IC, sock right? kill. Let me see. She, oh, she should. Is, it's not IC, it's SCPS. SCP Alright, so it's just higher oh. damage, but yeah. Gibral is IC. Gibral is IC. Oh, that's, that's a little bit of a worry, because Molina will be able to outspeed. Unless, is Duke speed ace? Two case. Let me see. AP reflex is two case, but you can still change it. I believe. Yeah, you could definitely still change it. I feel like AP reflex. AP reflex is actually really good versus roll and dark, but um, I don't know. I feel like you need a speed ace to fight roll and dark. You just need to be fast enough to get that early shot in. <laughs> Who knows? We could be seeing Duke striker here from the mid line. That is definitely a viable option. But I'm curious to see what Poirot is going to sub in for Scorn, because there's not really anyone who can, um, that I know of who can just straight up reflect kill. He bans the Metatron, pretty pretty standard, he doesn't want to get locked, but there are obviously options for the Metatron. Oh, he goes to Chimera? I haven't seen that one before. He usually, he usually goes to the Akamelia, Karad mm -hmm. backline. I think Karad backline is... Um, very good in this situation. The only issue with it is that Karad will get countered. Yeah, I like the adaptation that Coco did here. Usually, he usually he only runs one attacker in mid, and he can get shut down quite easily by monolite walls. So he chose three attack three attackers instead. Nice. The Krill is strong enough to pen Wow. Well. Oh, uh, but I don't think anything's gonna be able to steal from this Linko. If anything, they'll be able to outreflex her. Yeah, the Garrett has 4k reflex, by the way. Garrett has 4k reflex. <laughs> Duke's, by the way. Yeah, Duke's definitely does a lot here. The CA! I would have killed too! That's so unfortunate. Now, I believe he will pass here to Beth. Just get that global ABM, man. Yeah, the global ABM is just really good versus World and Dark. This is actually quite dangerous. The Molina almost outspeeds regardless of the um, the low roll, but just not good mm -hmm. enough. Well, active pass to Sakia or active pass to Hero. If he wants I think to he definitely. Pass. I think he might want to. No, he's going to do the normal pass because um, the active there pass to Hero. Oh, he didn't. There we go. He, I, he wants the kill shot right now. I don't think he's going to be able to kill though through the Abraxas. The Abraxas AP drain. And the co-op! Oh. oh, that's really unfortunate. It was a 20% co-op. <laughs> this is really... This puts... That might have... Actually, that might have killed without the co-op. But that's very unfortunate wow, for Poirot. Oh, enough. this counter-attack! <laughs> but... Not enough virus threat on the Poirot side. I don't think it would have mattered, though. Even with the Penrest Shred, um... To be able to increase damage by, the, by around 2k, it's just very high margin. Yeah, and this is um, this is where it becomes increasingly difficult for um, for Poirai. He lost both of his active passes there. The he's got, he's got nothing to do. I will do anything in this situation. But Poirai will struggle to get another shock in anytime soon. Oh, he doesn't act to pass there. I guess he wants the... He wants the Linko to get the early kill. And this is where it gets oh very God. dangerous. Unless he counterattacks again, which would be very... Very unfortunate for Coco. <laughs> here we go again. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> wow. Wait, Duke active pens. If Duke can just pen Melina 100 to 0. Oh, Duke will definitely be able to pen Molina 100 to 0. There, I don't think that's even a question. 
Oh, but he after passes. Oh, interesting. Took. He burned the Abnery AP, but the Melina will be able to act right away. Yeah, and it will get rid of his whole card too. That's a. Or or not. The Braxis should be able to steal though with the active and the final tech. Um, the Braxis is stealing all that AP and he does it because the elemental advantage. Dude, that hero had 5k dribble. Oh, my oh, no Lord. Lord. oh, wow. oh but the oh, Ronald no. steals just that whirlwind dark AB control. <laughs> I um, in the end. Corella is definitely gonna active pen here probably just with a solo. Or the players are playing very interestingly, I'm not <laughs> They're probably just taking it slowly because Rob is still under. Um, Linko. But I feel like that's the main reason he should act with Pender. And now is, this is where it becomes difficult. Like, the ball will go to Chitose, I believe. Yeah. And. Huh? Oh, it goes to Karad. Alright. That was hard to tell. Yeah, Karad. Linko should be able to steal this, but maybe not because he is running an RDO foot main luck on her, which is not optimal for stealing. The crawl backline doing a lot of work here. I think it's very smart because he's running the really high reflex, so he can't get counterattacked. Fast active. That means that means uh, Koro can definitely get a shot in. So only with the best pass, most likely. The main issue is that the shot should kill, right? Should kill the Ronald, mm -hmm. but then he has to go through the whole card as uh, the sacrificial defense as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, sack defense. You hate to see it. Yeah. And this is the sack defense is just not a balanced mechanic. I don't know what it's on, on the good side though. <laughs> you can see it again. Moral's luck is off the charts right now. I don't know what else to say. He's getting every significant counter attack. The Chibro will have active pass. The next time the ball goes. Oh, through. that's really unfortunate. Duke revives before Ash can move. Wow. Good luck. And this this is where it becomes dangerous. But well, Duke shooting, he might even crit. Duke think. would Duke kill here. He yes. does kill and yeah. round Duke one goes sure to Poira. Just the natural enemy of Whirlwind Dark. But I definitely think that Coco misplayed a little. I would have gone for the. Um, I would have said ignore the damage and went for the paral instant paralyze on the back line. That definitely was an issue. The Elua counter team was also very interesting. Because Elua revives herself, um, which I completely forgot about. No one ever sees Elua. It's all coming together. I, it's I all see. coming together. Now we're learning how to counter Whirlwind Dark. And even then, you can see. <laughs> You can see that the amount of luck that Poira had that game is not always um, feasible. <laughs> every every significant counter attack, yeah, every significant counter attack um, Poira got. So we'll have to see. Will he be able to pull it up again? Find out next time on this coin flip. And it is another game with a ban. So are both players ready? Ready or not? I'm inviting them, because I can already feel my voice dying. Um, yeah, I've just been talking a lot today, you know, sometimes it's just be like that. The real question is, do you have water ready? <laughs> oh yeah, you, you know, you are right. There is no such thing as luck. There is only a difference in player skill. So yeah, we can see that the hero was a lot of threat to to Ronald in this situation. I think one of the main issues was that he was running the Abraxas on the back line, and that prevented his Molina from being able to steal what she needed to. Oh, yes. 
the 600 uh, timer wait, countdown. Wait, wait, where am I? Where am I? <laughs> oh, wait, whoops. Sorry, we'll have to redo this match um, due to me forgetting to invite <laughs> my co host. Very sorry about that. You know, sometimes we just forget, and things happen, you know? It's been a long day. It's been a long- and honestly, it's been a long year. I think we can all agree. It has been a long year. Coco, if you got my invite, please accept. I did have to remake the room. Or did I bug it out because I had to leave? That is also a possibility. There were a lot of bugs with Reborn, especially with the spectator mode. Uh, no. Okay, both. Let's all let's all restart game. Restart game. All right. Ah, uh, the forbidden, the only game I play. <laughs> Soccer spirit. Forbidden technique is to restart the the client. <laughs> you know, it's interesting about that. Um, a lot of IT support is solved simply by restarting your computer, but because all um, or your device. But because a lot of people don't believe that, um, they give you a bunch of extra steps that you need to do. Like if your if your mouse isn't working, sometimes you know just turning it off and on, like a wireless mouse. Turning it off and on sometimes works. Because a lot of people don't believe that. They'll be like, yeah, pull out your battery, do this, do that, press these buttons, and then turn it back on. But in reality, all you're doing is turning it off and on. So. Now, here we go again. Ah, shit. Wow, Furu is very high on the list now. He's been just hard grinding. I don't know if I'm going to keep grinding because I don't have the investment requirements to beat a World in Dark team. It's very annoying considering only light players have that investment. But, you know, it <laughs> is what it is. See, that's why I made a mount of light, just so that I can be well with it. <laughs> I have, have really weird investment on really niche units that can sometimes work. <laughs> yeah, I made a lot of interesting investments um, for specific counter teams. Like, I'm making a uh, thousand watches oh, yeah. JR for my. for my. Uh, I already forget her name, Kame. You like Cocoa. Did I? Uh, re re invite again. See if he gets it. He, ju he just finished restarting. Oh, okay. I'll avoid Pora first. Yeah, knowing what our opponent runs is really important to counter team. Yeah, the problem is there's so many there's so many things that you need that you just can't counter team for everything. Mm -hmm. Especially with Rowan um, Dark. Yeah, you just you just can't have, um, especially with the current investment seed, you can't make a team or make enough units to counter team for every situation. Like, you need a standard team to fight a standard team, right? Or you need a World and Dark team to fight a standard team. Yeah, Alright, all right. Re remake the room, remake the room. Coco, I did get in white. Oh shit. Restart round, restart round three, baby. You're right, it does take longer to set up the room. Than <laughs> actually playing the game. Yeah, that's why like after the group stages. Alright, alright. Coco finally got in. Yeah, that's after the group stages. I was like, okay, let me just flood the bug report channel on the official Discord. I think that's definitely a viable um option. <laughs> Oh, get me, get me. I got you, I got you. Don't worry about it. Now we set up the bands. Yeah, Coco was definitely ready against a uh, possible uh, tanky mid. Just the luck was not on his side. Mm -hmm. luck, luck really was not on his side. Uh, 
No, I definitely think um, Coco shouldn't have run Chimera. Should have run Alchemelia. Um, Alchemelia just has a lot more presence. But, and I definitely think that he should have gone for the shot earlier, regardless of um, what his Linko, regardless of the Linko active. I think he definitely should have gone for the shot. Here. Yeah, now Koka has dropped the Abraxas, so he's in danger of getting one shot, but, you know, he's playing for more control, which is, in my opinion, the better play. Let's see how Poira will play. It's probably possible we're going to see the exact same lead, just Duque scoring back line with Angelic. Wait, what did the Mofitra have IC? I think the Mofitra didn't have IC. The Mephitra got the ball first, I know that. Okay, okay, then he has the IC. Yeah, he de he ha I think he definitely had IC. Yeah, both players leading the A, um, almost the same thing. Coco did change it up a little bit with the Molina in the center back. Which is the better play. Now he ban blocks Dalky and Kirin, which is also mm -hmm. very, very good plays, very standard. No, I would expect Poirot to maybe consider Belling Belena for this. As I, far as I know, uh, usually Coco is up seen Miho, Miho ace, with Miho Ace. Yes, that is what he does, and it is viable. The moment he gets the front line, um, it in the ball into the front line, it becomes very annoying to deal with. And score is definitely out of the table again. And, and he's getting rid of Beth. I think that's definitely a choice. Without Beth, he won't be able to have that same speed as he did um, in the first round. Also, uh, there is the option of running uh, either Casio Ace or just running the spell for the speed. Yep, Melinda and Metatron Bands. Yeah, I, I would. I would probably ban the same um, as Poirot right here, both Molina and Metatron. Either that or I'd ban, uh, I would just straight up ban Ronald. But with a Ronald ban, you'd get either Jin or Ire. And you can see that Poirot definitely isn't prepared for that. But Metatron and Molina, both very safe bans. But we're probably going to see Coco go into the Miho Ace with Camellia. Just the mono whirlwind front, very fast, good reflex, um, good damage. Then Pora probably going to go into the Karad backline again. Um, or I'm not sure what we put in, what would we put in for the midline. Maybe Luri. Maybe Cassio. Oh, yeah, Cassio is also an option. Oh. Yes. Or maybe Sarah. Sarah, I think Sarah is. A oh, he went Muspel. Muspel's mm -hmm. good. I think Muspel's a good option. Chimera again from Cocoa. I don't know about the Chimera pick. Akamele definitely has more presence, especially with the Miho Ace. Do you Maybe think I'm... he wants to rely on the active steel for Chimera? Possibly. Can... What do you do? You think um. Do you think that duels should be limited to only dual aces when they go into the game? Um, when their ace gets banned, do you think that she should be lim limited to a dual ace? Because I feel like that would be an interesting um, take, especially versus Whirlwind Dark. It would limit their ban protect options. No, Chimera has four stacks of steel weak point, so so that can potentially. Oh, that might be the reason why he's using Chimera. <laughs> so he's definitely he's going straight for the lock this time. Instead of any Linko active shenanigans because of the CA chances. Yeah, he definitely learned from his first game. But yeah, do you think it would be a a good um option to just limit the ace choices to only two? Mm. I'm not so sure, I have not really thought about that concept. Up here, going the whirlwind, dark shenanigans. Uh, ah, shit, here we go again. Oh, yeah, now the bug goes to Kurod, which will be interesting. Yeah, we've seen before that the Linko isn't able to steal from the Kurod. But Chimera shouldn't be able to da out damage the Kurod either. The doggy outspeeds because of the Miho Ace. The Chimera is really slow without the without the speed ace, so... 
But he does have that active, it just shaves off so much HP. This is bad because um, not able to get that steal in. Yeah. The crop tree has pretty decent reflex, so I don't think CA is on the table here. Yeah, so it has to be a damage, a steal, weak point damage steal. Mm -hmm. Which is not always um, viable. I think versus World One Dark, you definitely need someone to ball hold. And the problem is, I think a lot of players don't have um, a character strong enough to ball hold. Oh. Uh, this is where it becomes it. the the uh, nice. Linko does get the ball back, and it's very hard to steal from a Linko. If you don't see a, then you're you are never out damaging a Linko. That is ball holding. Did not get the CA. Oh, but he doesn't. Does he have active, active pass up? He doesn't have active pass, and this is where it can become dangerous. He does shoot here just to get rid of that shield. Chitose will get the ball. She does. There, there's no way Chitose line breaks, so she's probably going to pass to the Karad. Yep, just wants that Karad to ball hold. Right now, still weak point. He's on a five minute cooldown. I am not sure if Chimera. Can, oh, Chimera can see a. Didn't really? Even with the even with the reflexive disadvantage? Uh the elemental disadvantage, you can see that. Uh wait, no 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 sorry. I I didn't I didn't account for Kural's reflex passive. And yeah, um... it, it, mm -hmm. So the camera has 4k reflex, but Kural with the reflex passive has 3.1k. Yeah. Here, this is what I'm talking about, about how fast Whirlwind Dark is. Even without the Melina, the Miho is just so fast. Zoom. Yep. Yeah, she do be zooming though. Now he has Ash active up. This is going to be really dangerous for Poirot. Mm -hmm. Oh, room. but super trapping! <laughs> that counter. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't. she's not able to steal from the damage. It's so unfortunate. By one HP, and wow. Volley shot is back up. And now. Ah, shit, here we go again. <laughs> now the ball will have. To yeah, go again. oh, that was so dangerous to do that. He loses so much HP off of stealing that. I think he definitely wants to try to steal. with the. He should definitely try to steal with the doggy for good CA. Um, yeah, he doesn't lose anything by doing so. The reflex defense was only 200, so that was pretty lucky. I think, but even then, you still want to do that. I wouldn't have active pass here as the main thing because the Kirin would move before, um, before the wrath would ever come back up. But I guess in this situation, it's not a big deal, considering um, Porter is dead. <laughs> Porter, Porter is just dead. I don't know what else to say. Uh, wait, 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 because Kirin might not kill that shot. I uh, I don't think it'll matter even if Kirin kill. Oh, but Gary has enough AB. Barely. Mm -hmm. The question is, will the, will he be able to line break? Because he could get countered right here. He doesn't get countered. Lucky, lucky. But he is still under um silence. Is he? Not anymore. Not Someone anymore. Just it off. just said it just wore now. But I don't think it matters because um, he does have active pass and whole card up. Stack defense. Uh, really active active pass and stack. Um, he has active block and uh, stack defense. So. It's gonna be. I wonder how oh. Ura is gonna play this. Will he try to. Scylla it? Uh, Sakula it? No, he goes straight to a hero. And I think. He's relying on the active block to survive this shot, which is, you know, fair. Not able to kill through the block. Yep, I think this match is already over. Yeah, I didn't crit, this match is over. If only Saki was faster than Miho. Yeah, and now Miho is active, so this is just where it becomes very, becomes very difficult to kill World and Dark if you don't Oko them. If you don't kill the Ronald. Wait, the Corral lost. The Corral lost to Duke. Does the wow. Duke shoot here? He did not crit. I don't think he. Even if it crit, it would have done like 2.2k, as we saw from the last game. Um, 
You agree even less because last game it was uh Oh because he didn't have a uh, Yeah he had a Braxis instead of nuclear last time, so we don't mind. You're right. No, no, I think he's gonna go for the Linko pen. Yeah, nothing will be able to stop a Linko pen. Uh, not in what Poirot has. He shoots here. Interesting choice. I guess because the ball will go to Chitosa, he's not that worried about the... Raph um, can just kill here, right? With a pen? No, because she would get all her HP stolen by the Linko, and Linko will survive. I guess he would kill the Chimera, maybe. It's interesting that he normal pass, or probably doesn't have active pass. Mm -hmm. He was on cooldown. No, this time... And he's starting to crit because of the Irma Lawn. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's Philo Lawn actually. It's Philo Lawn, oh my bad, my bad. The, the crest is not... The crest is not that high. Yeah, he the only reason he probably didn't crit earlier was because he's not running the Molina Ace anymore. <laughs> yeah, and... That, that's just yeah. how it would be. Where's his whirlwind bar? You get a lock, then it's pretty much over. The Miho active reset and the Anary both did a lot of work. Yeah, I would definitely agree on that. So here we see Coco takes round two of that match. And yeah, as we see, if you can't kill the Ronald through the block, then it's pretty much over because you need to be able to kill the block and the sack defense at the same time, or they have a decent chance of killing, but he just couldn't, so. And for round three, will it be bans or no bans? The coin shall decide. It'll be bans again? What is this luck? We here we see uh, Kami and Insaron just having the no ban challenge, and now Coco and Pora just full bans, you know, no fear. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see if we can spectate from Poirot's side this time. Rig coin? Yeah. Um, Google is rigging my our, uh, tournament. Oh, I only got to invite the spectator too. Yeah, as we can see, even though Coco doesn't have his normal ABN midline, he doesn't need it to secure the game. Just because of how much um, how much control he has on the top. Even the Kira is fast enough to move his other active passes. Yeah, that's the problem because the only character that can stop Kieran from moving is Presti. But Presti won't be able to... Oops. But Presti won't be able to survive long enough for that to happen because just any HP damage done to her is permanent. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Maybe I should make a ER very high on block for Presti against front lock. Like an ERPC? I think that's definitely viable. Or maybe ERDM even. Yeah, I think ERST. I would even go straight to ERST. Yeah, but you'll take a lot of damage from the solo shot there. It's a thing. You'll take so much damage, I don't think ERST will even matter. No, the thing is, the killing usually doesn't have no CDM. I think I think PC stuff might be overkill. I don't I don't I don't agree on that for him because um if you don't have the PC sub then your crit CDR might not even be high enough. Because Kieran does ramp up crit damage. And all World mm -hmm. Dark players will be running Corel. So their crit damage won't be that bad. And then if you don't ban Metatron, then your AB is gonna be shafted and most of them will be running Akamelia in a sub position. Or in the as the Metatron band replacement. So the crit damage I don't think will be lacking. Who is co-hosting? Yum is our main co-host and Rong is in the background somewhere. Occasionally chime in. It's gonna be interesting to see how they both adapt to their matches. As we can see, Coco is just playing the exact same thing, you know. It's a tried formula, it works. It's broken. I don't yeah, it's broken. Um see the doggy's not even maxed. Like the doggy, the corral, the ash, they're not even maxed and it's just working. The question is, what will Poirot run? Because Poirot is the one who needs to counter team this. Hmm. 
Well, the side is. I think Fire should definitely take advantage of this 600 seconds to think about teams. Since I still haven't got any message about either crashes or freezes yet. You know, I would yeah, be interested to see how does Fire out. Uh, Counter team? Mm hmm. I would definitely agree. A lot of the a lot of this match does center around um, Poirot's ability to counter team, and it kind of sucks because I wish one of these were non ban or were no bans because I wanted to see how they would um, play if there were no bans. And interestingly enough, right, his uh, his hero was doing a lot less than my vanity in terms of just in terms of damage. It's probably because Hero's natural pen is a lot lower, so you have to dedicate a lot more stats to pen. Too much wasted stats on C damage, I guess. He's running Azilia backline. What an interesting choice. I guess that is one way to ball hold. Um, you just have another goalie in the backline. That is that is work. Uh -huh. It would counter Linko for sure. I'm not sure about that. Maybe it'll maybe Linko won't be able to steal. Maybe, but I don't think it'll counter her. So I'm I'm pretty sure Poirot is gonna burn the Metatron Molina again. Um, maybe okay, maybe not Molina, but the Metatron is definitely getting banned again. Maybe yeah. he'll ban Ronald. Um, I definitely think he should have let Zenon and ban the Ronald. Uh, oh, that's an interesting choice, huh? Yeah, that, I think that is definitely the play versus with Pura, with what Pura has. Mm -hmm. Ban block him best this time. Yeah, I think that is the proper choice, I think. Who did he ban block last time? Did he ban block um, Duke? Duke? It was, it was Duke on, on one of the games. Yeah, Duke and... Uh, I know Duke for the first game and Duke and Raph. Yeah, but they're the same, the same block ban for the second game, also Duke and Raph. Yeah, yeah. So this game is best because he knows that he needs the bet baby just to have a chance of moving. And same on Coco's side. So yeah, Jabril and Duke are getting banned. I don't know, the Jabril, the Jabril ban is very risky for Poirot. I think it makes sense because that's the only IC passer. But for the thing is, for uh, Poirot, he's just going to put in Karad. He's going to... Like, and... Uh, He's gonna put in Karad, and it's gonna be very difficult to steal from the Karad with what Coco's backline has. And then he's probably gonna to move to Bethes, uh, unless there, unless he moves to um, Cassiel. Chitose Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think Cassiel is better than Chitose Ace. Yeah, if he actually puts in Cassiel. Yeah, Cassiel is a hit or miss because I've only ever seen one Cassiel ever work, and he doesn't play anymore. Rip um, licks with the interesting names. Interesting. <laughs> no, we definitely cannot see the name on the on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have we have you on the you have your uh, account on the stream. Okay, I think we're past that point. Libius says for the reflex and speed. Oh, Libius is reflex and speed. Wait, then why do you put in Cassiel? Then I was only thinking Cassiel for the speed ace, but Libius is interesting. I think I mean it's a good it is a good choice. Maybe because Mustel wasn't doing enough as well. Oh, possibly. Said, but I think I, I think he should have put in a Luri. I guess he wasn't in danger of getting out of reflex, so Luri wouldn't have made a difference. Who did Coco put in? I know he put in Miho, right? Coco? Yeah, he put in Miho and Ch Chimera. Chimera again, alright, alright. It works, so mine. might as well keep using it. This time though? I think Pora oh. definitely has an advantage here. Oh, his... The Saki lots bad, but Very it doesn't have enough um, spirit for an active um, active um, shot. So I don't think the shot will kill through the active block, but it is definitely dangerous. That's a lot of fear one hero. We're gonna see. The but it's Kura? not gonna kill. Is the thing. That's like that. Yeah, the lack of a Jabril just cuts your damage so much, and because he doesn't crit. Oh, he only has twenty percent. Goalkeeper hound. And he doesn't have whole card either. Yeah, yeah whole card only procs at three minutes though. Here we see um, Coco is definitely wary of that co-op. I mean the re the counter attack. Next time when the ball goes to the front, Kurado have the ball, and and I wanna see how that's 
full call respawn to crowd. So, let's. Oh, this time Scorn is not bad. Oh, yeah, Scorn is not bad. We're gonna see if Scorn can do enough work. Oh, time. but he's going straight for the Linko this time. I guess this is one way to deal with the Scorn. Just the straight up kill the Scorn. Lived oh, the Azilia lived! No way! Yeah, that Azilia was the good place to play. And now, here is the thing, here is the difference. Will Gary a counterattack? That is what will make, will any of his backliners counterattack? That will make the difference. He does, he does. But will he be able to kill the Ant- Yeah, he should kill Anthea. Oh, he doesn't go for it. He just wants the ball holding Cassiel. Ash not able to steal, just two SP cast, not, um. Ash not good enough. It's probably gonna. I would if I were um, put right here. I guess we'll see what he does, but uh, he's probably gonna act upon the Miho. And with oh. acceleration breakthrough, it's just ow. And now he has Karad Ball. This is actually quite dangerous for Coco. But the question is, is it enough versus sacrificial defense? None of his backliners should be able to steal from the Karad. Nuke can wipe. I yeah, guess? Nuke can wipe. And then when she steals, she gets a huge reflex boost, but is it enough? That is the question. It's not enough. But Miho is still weak point, so... And she counterattacks, so it's not even going to uh, make a huge difference. Here, we're definitely probably going to see, yeah, the Miho is going to active here. Um, get just a huge amount of tempo back. And I don't think Cassiel would be able to steal from this, but who knows, we've... We've seen some interesting plays today with the uh, counterattacks. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as we see again. <laughs> it's all luck. It's not luck, it is player skill. It's a difference in skill. Yeah, and <laughs> Zoro will play. Yeah, will first. yeah, I would definitely yeah, steal with Ronald, that's just a standard safe play. Um preserve the Miho A B for the next rotation. Yeah, because of me, how far the spirit is at a permanent zero. Yeah, it's so... quite. It's pretty. Dis it's like a. It's like a pseudo Bora. It's kind of disgusting. It's is worse. Um. Oh, and here comes the volley shot. But Scorn does have enough AB just to move. Wait, no, it goes to Azilia first. It'll go to Azilia first, and then it'll probably pass the Scorn. I don't think and he wants to take the be? chance with Azilia to. A pen here, it's just too risky. Yeah, I would yeah. KTB here, honestly. Yeah, I would also KTB here. I don't. Oh, no, the Chimera can get it. Yeah, oh, he... It killed. Wow, the Sun Sob Scorn doing a huge. Oh, Scorn has accelerated breakthrough. No, oh, Chimera. that's oh, why. No, that's, KTB. that's true, I forgot about that. Scorn making the plays. But the question is here is it good enough? Because Miho is still at full AB, he's probably gonna pen here. Um, yeah, it's just Scorn just has a lot of damage, but oh, the they revived. Oh, and the ball goes back to. Oh, that's not good for Coco. They counter attack the reef crop fucks. The counter attacks, man. The reflex is just going on both players' side today, and another counter attack. Um, interesting choice to pass there, but this is quite interesting though. Hero is doing a lot of work ball holding, just ball holding. The whole card. The whole card, oh yeah. God. Yeah, it's definitely whole card doing a lot of work there. Wow, that, that reflex damage. And that reflex damage on this that Ronald. This is definitely where it gets difficult though. Um, for both sides, because they have to make a, they have to make a play here. Um, but Pora's entire front line is dead, so it's going to be difficult for him to make a play in this amount of time, unless he shoots him. He could shoot with Bether here, but it won't. I don't think that'll do anything. No, the best one crit. There's, there's like, there, there's no real other option though, right? <laughs> so, it's a quite a lot of damage for a non-crit, to be fair. And here, definitely is going to pass. Um, but the oh the crow revived just in time. I think if Coco wins, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna active pen here just to kill the Chitose. Did the ball go to uh, Linko? 
And Link will ball hold so long as she doesn't get countered. Oh, the ball went to Karad. Interesting. Yeah, he, 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 the ball will go to the the one that's in line with attacker. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I mean, Kieran. Yeah. yeah. What I learned from the old, uh, the old, what's the goalkeeper again? Darren goalkeeper for Oh um, boy. Out. Let's see if the silly can actually do anything. The silly can try to CA for sure. Whoa, <laughs> straight up kills over there. I didn't expect that. Well, just enough too. Ash, Ash cannot steal from this, it's a T-Zell. Yeah, there's, there's no way. <laughs> the Ash needs more defense. That's... That'll get rid of a sack defense. Yep, here's one stack gone. Or the... I think he was thought about going for the pen and then Kurod shoot right away if it's worth. I think that's definitely a good play, but it also depends on reflex. That's what I do with um What's oh, her name? Miho that's what I do fast. with Uranus. Yeah, Miho is fast. CA with the Kurod. Pen's here, right? He has to pen here, right? Oh pen here. Yeah, he has no He has no choice because the Miho has to die. Because Sakio is almost Oh, hurting. but the Miho's back up, and does she have um, still weak point? Hey, she does, but she doesn't have active anymore, so that is a plus for Coco. But look at look at the backline that Coco has to run in order to counter team this team. It's just very um, suboptimal. Oh, it's very unfortunate. Chitose burns a bit more of the Kirin AD. And she has Steel weak point, although at that point it doesn't really matter. Steel oh, Casio has accelerated breakthrough, so he will definitely go through the Krell. I don't think an attacker would lose the Krell on Pen anyways, unless it was like Queen. Um, and I see no. Queen. I think it's not go fast enough? Saka is active pass. I think Sack defense is sold out. Oh. She's not fast enough. Miho is really fast. It's a pulse boss Miho with 9% AS for sub. So what you're saying is fast. <laughs> he's fast. He's fast. Kieran is boy. dead for another 24 seconds. I mean, he could just active pen here with Ash, right? Um, Ash would die. I think Ash would die. Yeah. But the ball goes to Azilia, so the Azilia is not really a threat here. Um, not to the Ronald. Now the question is... I don't think he's gonna go for the steal because he knows how dangerous that stealing with that is. And oh. This is yeah, where it becomes dangerous. Like a 1k damage? The hero has 3k reflex, by the way. The hero has 3k re Wait, you're serious? Kurok oh. KTD. But he's silenced, he's silenced. So he can't even KTB here. Nope. The KTB was from the co op tag, but now Sack defense is up again. Yeah, this is the problem with World and Dark. It's just so hard to deal with if you can't, um... If you can't, um, kill them. Within the sack defense timing. Mm -hmm. Or within the first three minutes, which is why... Probably one of the best ways to deal with it is, a, is one hit KO. Just one shot them. But even then, you have to be able to outspeed the Molina. This time Linko gets the ball, right? Oh, no, Kirin. Kirin still gets the ball. The question is, does he pen here or does he pass? I think he definitely passes here. He wants that... Oh, volley shot! <laughs> Forgot about that. You never expect it. I'll never see it coming. The score can go through if he, I think, if he pens. He has acceleration breakthrough, right? Yeah. So he should be able to go through. Mm -hmm. He's off cooldown. It was called text. Re this game really demonstrates the SR player's power. Yeah, co op techs are really strong. The question is does he pen here? I think I definitely think if he, he pens here, but then uh, Ronald just uh, passes. I guess that's fair. And I think Ronald definitely steals here. Holkar's not up. Oh, he doesn't steal. Holkar wasn't up, so he would have been able to steal them. But it doesn't matter. Miho's um, fast. Too fast. Yeah. 
to say no. if, yeah I don't know. mono light definitely has a lot of the answers you need to whirlwind dark but because of how just because of like the nature of whirlwind dark it just it doesn't always mean it's enough this shot's gonna hurt oh it's almost a kill shot it does wow damage very low stack bro yeah it's been a while it's been a while right mm-hmm he yeah, definitely yeah. steals from this with uh, Linko. Linko shouldn't die considering how much straight up kills. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, this is GG. He doesn't have enough AB to. Oh, oh wait! If this doesn't kill, Garriot can move. Wait, how does it? Oh, because the Garriot revived. That's mm -hmm. right. If Garrett has the doggy, that's active. Let's see. Oh, Ronald still has that defense on. This gonna, this gonna. Yeah. Bro. This is why sack defense wait. is so wait, wait. No, no, no. No. Pass to Bass. Back at Bass active. Sakyo pass to Kurok. Kurok pants and kills the Ronald. Oh, and yeah, then... that is the play. That is the play. That might work. We'll just wait and see. And the question is, does Pura see it? Does Pura see it? That is the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's just listening to us talk about it. Maybe he just does it. Oh, he normal oh, pass. Okay. Alright, alright. But the question is, does it kill? It should kill, right? Karad, um, natural um, elemental nope. advantage. So it's a bad CCJ Karad. Oh, yeah, that won't kill. That, no bueno, that's no bueno. The interesting thing actually is the active shoot here. Whoop, that killed! Well, but it doesn't matter, sac defense, sac defense, lol. <laughs> if you can still get off. Damn, those active kills, so. And it gives global AB, so it's just. Uh... It's just really hard for Whirlwind um, Dark to die. They just have so much to... They have so much to stay in. The Miho... Yeah, now she doesn't do have steel... Work. Yeah, she doesn't have steel weak point anymore, so... It's gonna be a little rough. Um, ooh, that, that's dangerous. That's really bad. Oh, I, I, I do not think any of my steel from this crowd. Oh, maybe. Maybe with the active weight. No, there's no way. There's a point of... Well, Ronald can steal. Ronald. Oh, Miho's back up. <laughs> did, did she counterattack though? Maybe. Oh, what was that? Okay. Oh. Whoa. I, I guess Pura is gonna. No, Pura's gonna take it. No more pass hero shoots. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it. And that is the answer to Whirlwind Dark, folks. You run. Cassio and Zillia backline with Lir with Libby Ace. See, you so come together. <laughs> I said, <"Sit." laughs> when this is what you need, I don't know. When you need to come up with such strategies such as this to beat Whirlwind Dark, I don't know. If I don't... anyone can beat Whirlwind Dark, it's Poirot. Or Decon. Oh, I maybe mean, I undo one, but yeah. in, this in this bracket, it's Poirot. Yeah. And I, I predict Instagram has a chance. That is true. <laughs> that is actually quite interesting. But as we know, um, I'm assuming your average ninety percent of your live top five players won't have any of these players stoned, is a thing. So they need to build up. I don't. Whirlwind Dark is just so even. I mean, even with all of that counter teaming, you saw just how close it was for Coco to the natural counter team to like almost lose to that. Yeah, Twirot also had access to Ace first, a speed Ace first that Rainbows wouldn't have normally. Yeah. So it also helped a ton. And a reflex oh. ace. And the mono re and the reflex a huge reflex ace too. So they just Yeah. Uh right, well, World nice Dark is not okay. Alright, going back to the bracket. We have put it right. No, which one's right. Put it as the winner. Congratulations to Poirot. I'm not gonna be able to get this shade of green the same, but it's gonna be a shade of green. So congratulations to Poirot on that. Aha.